Our students come to us so often, crushed by injustice, poverty, homelessness, incarceration, being abandoned so often by their own communities and family. I am the same student that we serve. I've made a lot of mistakes in my earlier self when I didn't know who I was, didn't understand my value. So I get where our students are, and I think we serve some of the most amazing human beings on the planet. Well, hello there. Hi, Miss Joan, how are you? You look gorgeous. Thank you very much, it's good to see you. <laughs> I come from the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes of Oklahoma. I first started using when I was like three. That's when my abuse started. I was stuck in the cycle of addiction because I couldn't deal with the reality of what my life had become. The amount of shame and guilt was very overpowering. I need help. We provide housing, food, clothing, professional counseling, and any other resources they might need. They come to us with hope, and we have an abundance of it to share with them. About three weeks, within the program, we certainly saw a shift in her spirit. She helped me see that I have more potential than I gave myself credit for. Right now, I am an advocate at a homeless shelter. I love the positive impact that I can have on people and let them know too that I've been in your shoes you don't have to be there forever. We're here to provide you the space to grow and have a life that you can be happy with and proud of. You have greatness within you that you need to let out. Your greatness is not for you, you to keep. Owning your greatness is something that I hadn't heard before. She's instilled that in me. Let it out. Let it out. We own, own our, our greatness. greatness. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>